Hi class, this is uh, Professor Nick, and uh, just want to talk to you guys about how to uh, make line drawings from your Grasshopper files. Uh, this is what I'm asking you guys to do for the assignment, and uh, you may not have seen this before, so this is just a quick tutorial um, on how to do that. Um, first thing you want to do whenever you're doing something like this in Rhino um, is to make a camera for yourself. Uh, that's going to ensure that you know these are all the same scale, um, same proportions, uh, so we can make a fair comparison. Okay, so the way to do that is to go up to, well actually, you know, set your view first, so I'm going to start with the front view and just zoom out until I can see everything in my row of columns, okay? And then I'm going to go to view, set view, named views, <clears throat> and I'm going to save that view, and I'm going to call this view my submission. Okay, so now that's my, that's one of my cameras. If I go through set view here, I'm actually going to have this one called my submission, okay? so. Go through, and remember, in order to to actually uh, render anything, right, in order to see anything in Rhino, you actually have to bake the geometry. And for some of you guys, uh, if you're following the initial tutorial, your final geometry is going to just be your lofted shapes that you made. Um, if you used a, um, a different cross-section or a combination of cross-sections, the geometry is going to be what comes out of the Orient uh, tool. Uh, so once you've got that, you're going to bake your geometry. Okay, so right-click, uh, bake. And uh, that's going to uh, uh, basically make it appear in Rhino. Okay, so I click Bake, and I'm going to set to default. It's fine. And you can see that it actually shows up. Okay. Once your geometry is in Rhino, uh, you're going to select that geometry. So I've got these. And I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to say uh, Make 2D. So M-A-K-E, 2D. And what Make 2D is going to do is it's going to project uh, lines. Uh, it's 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 going to create an outline of those things, uh, like a nice line drawing. Uh, and I'll be able to uh, put those in AutoCAD or in Illustrator, any file that takes a vector. Um, so let's say drawing output, current view. I've unchecked show hidden lines. Uh, Maintaining layers is fine. I'm just going to say OK. And it's going to put them on the uh, top viewport. So I'm going to go ahead and actually erase those. Uh, columns first, so delete those, go to the top view. You can see that it's from the view that I gave it, it has created uh, these lines. So I'm going to select those. I'm going to hide my line that I used to make those other objects. Um, and then I'm going to select these. And uh, <clears throat> I'm going to hide my curve too. Move these up. So there, those, that's my line of columns there. Okay. Then we go back to my camera, my submission, and change my parameter to something else. So much smaller. Let's see if I can get these to pop in. There you go. And then I'm going to do the same procedure again. I'm going to bake them, select them, <clears throat> say make 2D. Settings are the same. <clears throat> go back. Well, to take these out again, erase them, go to the top view, <clears throat> and again, here's my other line of columns, and, um, you know, just move them up if I want to, oh, so I didn't select the bottoms. There we go. Okay, and then one last time, so go back to my submission, maybe make this a bit different. Bake. Top view. <clears throat> Take all these. And then, <clears throat> so that's kind of, you know, almost what I, uh, that is what I would ask you for for your submission. So this is a good comparison of the three different, um, three different choices for my parameter. Um, and then I'll take all the lines that I want, select them all, and then go to File, <clears throat> Export Selected, and then save them as, um, you know, Adobe Illustrator, let's say, or save them as um, a DXF or um, a DWG, let's see here, um, DWG and DXF, okay. So I can save those, give them a name, and um, that's pretty much all you need to do.